to make a pendant and a boxy resin pendant so this is actually the first episode of my affordable business idea so the first thing that you need to do of course is to prepare all the materials that you'll need in order to make the pendant this is the silicone pendant mold and these are the mixing tools but if you don't have a silicone you could actually use a popsicle sticks to mix and this is the tissue so that you could clean up your mess these are the filling metals we will use this later to design our pendant this one is my favorite i love this one these are the measuring cup the mixing cup and the ones that clear resin epoxy so later i'm going to show you how to mix these two this is the part b the hardener so last night i made this so that i could show you how it looks like when it's hardened i love this one and also this this is so simple i love it If you don't have any measuring cup, I advise you to put a mark in your cup to measure part A and part B. So I'm going to use a ball pen to put my mark in it. Oh, just a reminder, read and follow the directions of whatever resins you are using. There's a direction in the bottle written in it and you should follow it. So I'm going to show you the directions that was written in the resins that I have bought. This one is the part A and it was written here that A should be three times more than the part B. Let's open it up and there's still another cup in it and it's a good idea to avoid spilling. Let's pour it out. So from here, you could actually tell that part A is thick and to tell you part A is thicker than the part B so you should be careful in pouring the part A because you'll get a little, a little bit mess like what I have said earlier you should follow the volume ratio in measuring the part A and the part B it was written in the resins that you have bought so from here the resins that I bought the directions says that the part A is or should be more than the part B, three times more than the than the part B. So I'm trying to put three more, one more, and if you don't have any silicone spoon, you could actually use a popsicle stick to mix. This is the last one of part A because I already put three. Remember to close tightly the bottle and clean up your mess. So the next one is the part B, which is the hardener. So it is smaller than the part A because you just put one time. Because according to the instructions, part A is more than three times than the part B. And what, like what I have told you earlier, be careful in putting the part be because you could spill it out since it's not that thick always get the remains
so always make sure to clean up your mess so after that you stir slowly for two minutes until make sure it's clear so from here you can see that there's a bubble forming in it always make sure that there is no remains place it along for three to five minutes to clear the bubbles these are the metal fillings that I showed you earlier. These are the moon designs. This one, I love this one. The cure clock. And this is the silver one. So the first one I bought it for 84 pesos and these two I bought this for 132 I think. So if you see that there is no bubbles anymore in it, you could now put the resins in the mold. I'm going to use the gear metal fillings. So if you don't want to buy this one, you could actually use a wood or a dried flower to put in it. You can use a toothpick to place your designs in the places. The one that I'm using is a silicone one. I bought it in the same shop. I am passionate to make this beautiful because I really love designing and like I told you earlier I really love this design so I'm putting a lot of fabric in it because I'm also going to sell it later In this is square silicone. I'm going to put the moon metal fillings in it. Stars. So the curing condition of this is 8 to 15 hours. But the normal one is 18 to 24 hours so these are the one that I made last night so that I can show you today and this is my favorite one I'm going to wear this So these are the materials that we're going to use to make the pendant more beautiful. So I just added the connectors. These connectors are silver and antique. So I think we will mostly use this silver one because 
it really fits in the pendant that we made today. You could also buy this one if you want to make a necklace, but I'm just going to show you the pendant. So this is the hook. I'm going to make an earrings from this too. You should be creative. I want a different design for my earrings. That's why that's why I'm making this too. It always depends on your perspective on how you view it. But I love this look like this. Make sure that the hook is tight. And that one, I'm going to partner that with this one. I think it will look good. I know some wouldn't like it, but I like it, so I don't care. So from this tree, I'm going to make this a pendant, a necklace pendant. I'm going to use the silver connectors because that is what it fits. It really fits in the pendant, the silver one. I also made a pendant made of coins because I love that as well. Like what I've told you, you could put anything in it. A wood, a dried flower, or beads, you could put anything. This one is very simple and I like it. I will make more with this design and sell more with this design. I love this all and this one this is my favorite from all the pendant that I have made. Now you can sell it with different platforms so you could use Shopee, Lazada or Carousel. That's all for today. I hope you like this video.